Hey, it's Dr. Gonzo and you're watching In A Nutshell. Today I was planning on speaking to you about what a normal mitral valve looks like. If I look at a normal mitral valve, I imagine something like this. A ring or an annulus that basically serves as a hinge point for the valve. The valve has two leaflets, the bigger one that we call the anterior leaflet, and the reason that we call it an anterior leaflet is that it faces the front of the heart, and a much smaller one that's called a posterior leaflet, and the reason we call it a posterior leaflet is because it faces the back of the heart. That's simple. Now this is if you look at the valve straight on. If you look at the valve from the side, this is what I imagine. The two leaflets come together in the center of the division between the left atrium and the left ventricle. And underneath it, it's got these little cords that we happen to call cordae. They're string-like structures. The cordae in itself are attached to two muscles. Those muscles we call the papillary muscles. This whole thing is what we term the mitral valve apparatus. And that's normal mitral valve anatomy in a nutshell. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.